Do you want to create financial planning in Excel? Then the sensitivity table could be the savior. You can use it to analyze how changes in variables like income, expenses, and investment returns affect your overall savings or retirement fund, helping you make better financial decisions. Hey there, Excel enthusiasts! Welcome to Excel Demi, your go-to destination for mastering Excel and Excel VBA-related challenges. I'm Shahriyar Abra Rafid, and in today's video, I'll be showing a detailed guide on how to create a sensitivity table in Excel. So let's roll up our sleeves and get started. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. Before starting further, let's first know what sensitivity analysis is. According to a specific set of assumptions, sensitivity analysis evaluates how various values of an independent variable impact a specific dependent variable. One can apply this method within defined parameters that are dependent on one or more input variables. For better understanding, I'll use this dataset. It includes product quantity, price per item, utility cost and transportation cost. In the first method, I'll create a sensitivity table using one variable in Excel. I'll take the product quantity as a variable and estimate profits for its different values. After creating the table, you'll be able to analyze the final result based on different inputs. First of all, I need to do some pre-calculations before starting the main procedure. Here, I have made three extra fields in the primary dataset to calculate the total sales, total cost, and profit. Also, I have created a basic outline of the sensitivity table in the B12 to H13 range. Next, to calculate the total sales, insert a formula in cell F6 equal to F4 into F5. Press enter to get the value. To find the total cost, I'll need to add the utility cost and the transport cost. And for that, in cell F9, Type the formula equal to F7 plus F8 and hit enter. Lastly, I'll determine the profit for this whole procedure by entering the formula in cell F10 equal to select cell F6 which is the total sales minus cell F9 which is the total cost and enter. That's the desired result. Afterward, I'll start the main procedure of this tutorial. In cell C13 of the sensitivity table, insert the same input of cell F10 equal to F10 and enter. After that, in the product quantity row, input the amount of product as per your choice. Start it from cell D12. Then select the range C12 to H13 and go to the data tab. In the forecast group of commands, click on the What If Analysis drop down icon and select Data Table option. You will see the Data Table dialog box. In the row input cell box, select cell F4 as I am creating this data table based on product quantity and press OK. Finally, you will be able to create the sensitivity table. You can see the estimated profits for this business earned by selling different quantities of the same product. In the second method of this tutorial, I will create the sensitivity table with two variables instead of one. The other procedures for this method will be the same. Here, I have created an additional table under the primary dataset. Additionally, I did the pre-calculations for this method just like the previous one. Then, in cell C13, insert the same cell value as in cell F10. Now, input values of both variables price per item and product quantity as per your choice. Now select the range C13 to H18. Again, go to the data tab in the forecast group, click on the What If Analysis drop down icon and select the data table option. After selecting the previous command, you have to give some input in the data table dialog box. In the row input cell box, select cell F5 as the different values of price per item are in the same row. In the column input cell box, select cell F4 as various values of the product quantity are in the same column. Lastly, press OK. Finally, you will see the sensitivity table filled with various values of profits. This indicates how much profit you will earn in terms of respective product quantity and price per unit. For example, if other costs are fixed and you sell 80 unit of products at $65 per product, then it will make a profit of $1750. Other results work in the same manner. In this tutorial, I have shown multiple methods to create a sensitivity table in Excel. Follow them carefully to apply this knowledge in your practical field. 
Use the one that comes in handy for you. Download the workbook from the description box so you can practice it yourself. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comments section. You can have a glance at exceldemy.com or join our thriving exceldemy community forum where you can post your excel and VBA challenges and get solutions from experts and fellow users. If you like this video, consider subscribing and click the bell icon. Thanks for watching.